We back, we back, we back, we back. Well, me and you watching my nonsense. Legacy Museum Collection, blue. This is a one-six scale statue from Prime One Studio. Yes, my second Prime One Studio anything in here. Uh, and I'm slowly getting them in here. I'm slowly, finally getting the Prime One stuff. Which is fantastic. I'm gonna open this sucker up, see what you get. He's a big box. One six Raptor Blue. If you did not watch Fallen Kingdom, sorry. I'm sorry to sorry to tell you, it's a pretty good movie. I like it. I enjoy it. But we'll see. We're not here about the movie. We're here about the statue. So let's see what we get. Okay, the statue comes in two pieces. Two big pieces. I'm gonna show you first. Blue. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep coming. Oh, snig. Oh, look at that. Raptor talent in there. Oh, see my little sound effect? You like that? Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Bam, bam, bam. Looking right at you. Okay, so let me move this a little bit before I crash into something. Okay, so this piece here is a... Um, I would say it's a mixture of more PVC, ABS, uh, plastic, heavy plastic, not too light, but with a, a great, amazing, killer, insane paint job. Now you would say, well, shit, why isn't this polystone? Why is it not, uh, why is it plastic? Well, I'm assuming it's because of the engineering to this. Ah, move a little more. Hold on, grab this right there for you. Okay, so the engineering to this is fantastic. He looks beautiful. Let me move his head around for you. I'm just trying to get close-ups until I get the whole thing for you. So this comes in blue. This is blue. But look at the little details and the wrinkles and everything. It is a, it's not exactly plastic. I won't tell you that. It's just interesting material. It doesn't feel like a Diamond Select statue or anything like that. It's really beautiful, really good quality. I could feel it. But it's not massive heavy polystone. It could be a number of reasons. Cost. I mean, the statue is not your typical 1200 300 you know, a $1,300 uh, piece from from Prime One. It's, it's in the $600, $700 range. Um, so that could be one. I know the base is heavy as junk. But it could be a lot of reasons. I think also, too, is because the way it stands on the base... If you make it too heavy in a certain, you're gonna snap it. You don't want that. You just want the beauty of it. So here's the first piece. I will get more details. I know I'm moving around too much. I'm just scared to run into anything. And then I'll uh, give you another close up. Okay, the second part to the statue is the base. And this is where the weight comes from. And it's really beautiful. It's it's gorgeous piece. I'm, I, I love it. I love it. Great price point for it too. But you're getting your weight and everything in the base. So. These little plants here, uh, these are plastic. This one isn't, this part here is not plastic. These are, look at that, that's awesome. These are like these little, you know, artificial plants you get like at Michael's and shit. <laughs> a little shout out to Michael's, you know what I'm saying? So that, this is beautiful, got a little log here, everything. And then the base over here has got the fossils and, you know, this camera sucks, okay? But it's hard to explain. It'll be here in the HQ if you're a local, you can come see it. But if you don't, there's blue, the little, the little platform and then I'm gonna put them on here I love it. if you love dinosaurs okay if you love dinosaurs this is awesome and I I'll be honest with you I'm not a fanatic for Jurassic Park the first one I loved it when I remember when I was seeing it I was like wow this is an amazing incredible idea incredible movie but then uh, franchise got you know a little okay it's okay but then uh, I saw these pieces from from Prime one and I'm like wow Iron Studio has some great dinosaur pieces too but i don't have one in person yet this however is fantastic i'm gonna put blue over here for everybody to enjoy this i don't know why i'm talking like that okay let's, let's just do it let's just do it. okay boom you got them there it is blue on the um scenery platform base whatever you want to call it let's do a little close-up on this paint job um i know the camera is not going to give it justice but he's an absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful statue. Um, thank you, Will Pope. Uh, he bought one from us as well, and he gave me a heads up on the 
The only complaint people have had from the statue, okay? One, they weren't they were surprised this is not polystone, but it's it's kind of difficult to do it, okay? Um, like I said, there's some kind of engineering issue because of that if you make that polystone. Second biggest issue, and I think the biggest one is, is the pegs. See how it doesn't sit flush there? And uh, this one is okay, but you're gonna have to bend this one in there when the pegs are short enough and whatever. But I don't give a, you know, I don't really care. Only for the fact because it looks like he's pushing his leg off the, the mud. It's not like you can see the peg or anything. It's almost like he's walking through the forest and, or whatever, jungle, whatever. And uh, boom, see one step down, one off the mud. I like that. And, and, his, and his feet are dirty too, so it looks just kind of moving around. That's why I don't really care. If it was leaning or something like that, does he lean? He doesn't even lean. He's, he's so light that he won't, he won't lean. This is approximately how big he is. The tail is, man, it's beautiful. Things that kill, this, this statue kills is the paint job is freaking phenomenal. The paint job is amazing. You don't even care. It's not a polystone, okay? But if they were charging like 1400 bucks for this and it was not polystone, yeah, I get it. Kind of like Chronicle Collectibles. They charge you, probably. But guess what? They're not around anymore. Maybe that's why. So, not a knock to them. They're just It's just a pricing thing. Jurassic Park is a very expensive license. But, um, sorry about the lighting in here, guys. But this is it. Let's do a little more close-ups of the rocks. His feet, like I said, there it is, the flush. You won't get the flush. I mean, you can bend it because he's a plastic, but you don't really want to. I don't want to, but that was the complaint. So if you ever get the statue, guys, remember that's one of the issues. Don't be surprised. Because um, a lot of people like to have it flush down there and there's no problem. Uh, there's no leaning issue. This, this I, I don't see it. And there's the paint job. There's his little arms. Looking right at you. Gorgeous paint job. The eyes are glossy. Beautiful job. Uh, I hope you have. I'm not selling these. I mean, I can. Just, you know what? Just message me if you're a member of the Facebook page. Message us and we'll see if we can get you one for, for delivery to your house. Back it up a little bit. There you go. Killer. All right, guys. Have a great day. Sorry for all the uh, shakiness in this video. Have a good one, guys.